Looking at the spec sheet, we can't be asking for more. Xiaomi has spec'd a lot more than we expected. So let's unwrap this Redmi Y2 and see how things will turn out. Xiaomi Redmi Y2 is equipped with a 12 megapixel plus 5 megapixel AI rear camera. While a 16 megapixel camera is placed on the front, the latter supports AI portrait, AI beauty, and face unlock. As you see, this is one of the early phones in which the portrait mode is based on AI. The artificial intelligence calculation engine makes the edge recognition more accurate and the background is blurred way better. The main enhancement in the AI beauty option is the understanding of girl's makeup and protecting the lip makeup and eye detail colors. As for the hardware, the Xiaomi Redmi Y2 comes with a Snapdragon 6 to 5 chip which is paired with 3 memory options of 2GB, 3GB and 4GB RAM. The 5.99 inch full screen provides an HD plus resolution and the battery comes with a capacity of 3080mAh. If you guys wanna see full unboxing, you can check the link in the description given below. So you guys want to install MIUI 10 Global Beta ROM on your Redmi Y2 for that. First you need to download the ROM from the link given below in the description. After that you need to go to a part phone, tap on system update, then tap on the three dots, go to choose update package, then select the file which you downloaded from the link. Here you can see recently available MIUI 9.5 update but guys here I am directly upgrading it to MIUI 10 without updating it to MIUI 9.5 first. The new volume and brightness sliders certainly stand out from other phones. Tapping the volume buttons will now launch the volume adjustment overlay on the right side of the screen. This differs from many other schemes which deliver a volume overlay in the center or top of the screen. Both sliders also let you adjust brightness and volume by sliding your finger anywhere on the panel. Instead of on a specific point, it's a small but welcome adjustment. The new Sense menu offers a vertically scrolling list of running apps making full use of the expanded screen real estate. You also have the ability to swipe on apps to delete them or tap and hold on the apps to yield more options. Getting back to home requires you to swipe up from the bottom edge of the screen. To go back a step, MIUI 10 users can swipe from either edge towards the center of the screen. 
MIUI 10 also makes jumping between apps convenient and you swipe from either edge and hold for a second or two and you'll be taken to the last app you were using. Using the gesture again will take you back to the app you just jumped from. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you found the video useful. This is Sci-Fi Gen and I am signing out.